something to think about tonight. Are police officers being multitasked to death? Some leaders in local law enforcement are suggesting this as a reason for so many recent shootings. Our J.D. Miles live tonight in Dallas to explain. Kaylee, it's believed the San Antonio officer who was killed over the weekend was operating his laptop inside his patrol car when he was shot. Some officers here say it's an example of how much time is spent operating more and more police equipment that's become distracting and slowing down an officer's judgment at critical times. Six through traffic. Balk Springs Police Officer Josh Smeltzer admits it's a problem. Pretty much the entire time you're at work, uh, you're distracted. Distracted by multiple radios and scanners, a dash cam with a separate hand-carried mic. Touch the menu button. As well as a body cam, radar gun, and a Wi-Fi device. I guess on your mobile hotspot. Not to mention a laptop. We're checking our vehicles. We're checking VIN numbers. And the blinding bright lights on his state-of-the-art patrol car. It can be sensory overload. I mean, it can be overwhelming to tend to that many items at once. Retired Garland officer Clint McNear says policing has come so far so fast in the 40 years since his dad carried just handcuffs and a gun that maybe cops have too much to think about besides criminals. There's just no room for error, which usually leads to an officer's death. Officers also carry 35 pounds of equipment. Here we go. They had me try it on. Radio. Okay. That goes back here, I guess. To show things some officers say is redundant, such as a taser and pepper spray. Hey, excuse me. Huh. Um, hey, I'm just in the neighborhood. What's I also on? learned how easily people can take advantage of a distracted officer during this mock traffic stop. Sir, get away from the vehicle. Even though officers like Josh Smeltzer say it's increasingly difficult to maintain focus, they make the best of it. You're intently focused on this, and you can lose sight of everything else very easily. Now, the Texas Municipal Police Association, which represents 25,000 officers, is very concerned about this. Now, they're not suggesting going back to the dark ages, just asking departments to simplify equipment, which it believes will save lives both within the public and the law enforcement community. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.